I don't know how long this video is going to run. I'll probably have to split it in two. Um, this is going to be sort of a line-by-line -line response to Fucktards Galore by Ali Fala Nashoba, better known as the Stigma Dane. Um, so yeah, lately people have been getting him very mad. Uh, I, I downloaded two videos recently that were just like the, the meat that trolls get when they troll their trolling and they actually kill their prey. Um, two videos from the Stigma Dane that were just so hilarious. But this one, not so much. So, it, but, but it's more to the point, so I'm actually going to respond to it. So, uh, I'm, I'm going to skip to the halfway point where generalizations for all atheists like me uh, are made instead of responding to the the personal uh, statements towards other people. Although I will say that uh, judging uh, a woman to be a whore, whether or not she's done something that you disagree with, is distasteful. And also um, telling someone that you wish that you could physically be in their presence to bring them harm is um, also distasteful, at least. So, we start at 4 minutes 37 min seconds into his 8.5 minute video, and I set up my keyboard right in front of me. I'm just going to use the space bar as a buzzer. Or not. Hold on. <laughs> In fact, there are many of you atheists who don't even know what the fuck you're even talking about half the time. You're listening to people quote my shit out of the Bible, and you are you just want to straw man it, like, it, because you don't understand it. You don't even reference Bible scriptures, because you don't care. Um, I will give you that at least 10% of atheists are atheists on faith, in that they have not uh, really explored their own atheism uh enough to justify the conclusions that they've come to. But uh, many atheists do quote scripture, uh, especially here on YouTube. Um, hmm. and, and I would say that uh, unless you're one of those people that thinks that you must magically be given the ability to understand the, the words in between the words in the Bible, um, Pretty much anyone can just pick up the book and understand what is being said, and even research the context. It doesn't matter uh, what religion or not religion you are a part of. It's all based on apathy. The only thing that you atheist guys want, you don't want to feel bad about watching porn and jacking off. Um, no, I don't want to feel bad about watching porn and jacking off, but that's not my reason for not believing in uh, things that I cannot verify or have no evidence for. There's your fucking goddamn truth right there. So you come up with this saying, if there is no God, then there is no sin. Well, that right there is showing, showing and everybody that you're feeling re feelings of resentment and guilt Okay, um, I don't know who said, if there is no God, there is no sin. Um, I, I personally don't see that as, as following, if, if there isn't your God. You know, the concept of sin and the concept of God, to me, are two different things. Both unproven and unverified. There's your omnipotent, omnipotent, the deity, and then there's... You know, the, the magical, sticky wrongness that sticks to people that you can't really measure and stuff. Both of which, independent of each other, I cannot prove the existence of. So, um, no. If there is no your God, I don't know that it's connected to there being no sin. Uh, there could actually be some sort of karmic, magic, sticky wrongness that will, like, weigh you down and you need 
magic sticky goodness to stick to you to to balance it. I don't know. I really don't. You people need to get over yourselves. Once you come down to the real reason you don't want to believe God, and stop all this, oh, there's no scientific proof, bullshit. <laughs> yep. So, you think that um, I, I am only an atheist because there's things that I want and your God is getting in the way? Uh, no. No. Actually, uh, there, there are a lot of moral parallels that I would get between what I believe and what your Jesus professed. A couple of differences, like I, I don't like rape, I don't like slavery, I don't like beating slaves, which uh, I, I really hate that your Jesus prescribed that in uh, the Gospel of St. Luke in chapter 12. I really, really hate that one. Um, yeah, and, and casting people into a lake of fire, whereas I, I believe that I'm actually more benevolent than uh, what I've read about your God, uh, in that I wouldn't do that to people or torture people for all eternity, or, or just cast them away, you know, for all eternity and make them live outside of my presence. Um, any form of that, that hell, I really... I, I think I'm I I and other people and even you, Stigma Dane, I think that you you are more benevolent than the descriptions I've read of your God. But they might be flawed and, and maybe you're thinking that magically uh the only way that you can get the actual information of your God and actually decipher the Bible is, is to magically get information from your God and then uh he tells you how it is maybe hasn't happened for me and I've asked for it sincerely too I did have a scientific would prove how a freaking bumblebee flies but you believe in a bumblebee and it flies um we can scientifically uh prove how a bubble bumblebee flies <laughs> We can we can explain it and then we can uh, model it and verify that. Um, that statement right there is about as dumb as tides go in, tides go out, never a missed communication. Uh, you can't explain that because we can't explain the tides and we can't explain where even the moon and the sun came from. Um, so yeah, <laughs> next line. How many people have never actually physically seen a bumblebee and know that they fucking fly? Uh, okay, so it is one of these uh, things where you're taking the concept of faith and you are ignoring that on, on the side of evidence and reason we actually have verifiability. Yes, maybe some of these people have read some facts in a science book that they did not test themselves, but they are free to do so. Whereas on your side, um, thou shalt not test the Lord thy God is the rule of the day. So um, all of those kids that have read about a bumblebee but never seen one, they are free to go find one in a land where there are bumblebees and, you know, see it for themselves. Verifiability. Look it up. You know, atheism is a big fucking joke. I'm sorry to say it, but the, your mindset, the mindset of atheists so far has been nothing but apathetic, uh, just lazy people. They don't want to freaking get information for themselves. They want an easy way out of every fucking thing. Okay. Um, I'm not really uh, equipped to handle the uh, atheism as a, uh, a big fucking joke uh, line, I guess, with, when I have my camera pointed at me and I have all these jokes around me. Uh, but I can uh, speak as to lazy thinking. 
Um, I would consider faith at all to be lazy thinking. Um, to accept things on faith without question is lazy thinking. Um, pot kettle black, you know. Uh, and, and and we do have a saying that the 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 thing that will create atheists the most is actually reading the Bible, you know, and it it is the case that many of the atheists that I meet uh, have done extensive research, and that is why that they are atheists. And I know the same is said on the the Christian side. I wonder if what you are talking about isn't more of just a human condition, where humans like easy answers. Think they're afraid to work hard for anything and get anything as a result. You don't even deserve the life you have because you're taking it for granted. Everybody that doesn't accept God you're taking life for granted, period. Okay, so uh, we're lazy. That's why we're atheists. I don't even see the connection there. Seriously. But uh, as far as taking life for granted, um, it's it's been my observation that most atheists, uh, when they see that this is the only life that they can verify that they have and the only life that they... Uh, believe that they have, you know, they they tend to take it a little bit more seriously. Um, it, it seems to me that it's religious people in in, in our country in particular, the religious uh, evangelicals that that uh, seem to be more politically in line with policies that would rape our earth and then expect God to just fix it all because God provides and God will provide the solution. So let's just keep on our track to uh, destroy the environment. Um, and really, they're the ones that uh, don't live for this life. They live for a life in the future, another life. You know, they're... Li they're taking this life for granted in that uh, this life is only a vehicle to get to some other life and what happens here doesn't really matter. I've heard that a many, many times. Uh, whereas atheists, uh, they tend to work with what they know they have. You're just going to live it out say, fuck it until the end. And it takes empathy and a little bit of sympathy to actually get anybody to freaking give to a charity. You know? Okay. I can speak as on on this one. Uh, it takes empathy and sympathy to get anyone to give to a charity. Um, first example I'm going to give you is on kiva.org, where uh, week by week, month by month, for the last two years, the atheists and agnostics group has been beating the Christian group by at least twice as much um, in charity. Uh, let's see. As far as myself, I know I've I've raised over a thousand dollars with my charity fundraisers to go to the Occupy group, and most of that has gone to feed people who otherwise did not have a means to get food. So, yeah. The, it, you're talking about charity, empathy, and sympathy as if they're only things that come from being a Christian. And I see them more as being uh, universal human characteristics. Atheism is a huge, is a fucking gigantic joke on a personal psyche. And it is a freaking shithole of thought. First off, if you would have watched the fucking video and listened to it, half of you would have known that it is less likely a chance 
that everything was made by chance. It is less likely. And all of you fucking scientists that are atheists, you want fucking evidence? Well, here's your fucking mathematical evidence. Statistics. And a lot more are on the side of intelligent design. Okay, well, as far as uh, statistics proper in uh, the natural sciences, um, they're normally be based on observable facts and, and verifiable facts. Um, so, yeah, uh, not so much theology. But if you want to talk theoretical statistics, I would point you to a concept called entheism. Uh, which is being worked on by one of my friends, uh, Justy. His YouTube channel is called The Skeptheist. And if you uh, look at his video on entheism, uh, you will see that there is actually uh, statistical models whereby uh, we have, you know, this world created by a god, this world created by a god, created by a god, you know, and, and so on. Kind of like uh, wondering if we're a matrix and a matrix and a matrix, or, uh, you know, the, the, the movie The 13th Floor or something. You know, there, there's many people who are working on these uh, theoretical statistics, and yeah, they're not all coming out in your favor, Stig. Um, so, I'll, I'll point you to that later. You all have failed, and you keep it up, and the government's going to fucking stick a chip in your fucking hand so you can get some food. And you'll be the sucker at the end of the line. Man, you people fucking are an embarrassment to be a part of the same nation with. I swear, man. So, if we do not bow down to your god, we are going to get a chip stuck in our hand, kind of like the mark of the beast, I guess. That's your your version of it. Um, and we won't be able to get food without it. Um, it doesn't sound uh, much like the values of our nation to say to people that if if you don't accept my god, then you are going to have horrible consequences. Um, just saying. Um, it, it, that not accepting your God is going to be the downfall of our, our nation. Really? <sighs> as far as uh, the government getting so much authority over us that it that it just is unimaginable i i would point you to the 97 or 93 senators out of, out of 100 only seven didn't that uh voted for the national defense uh authorization act and how all of those senators pretty much have god on their side be it republican or democrat uh if you look at their religious resumes they all claim to be pretty much christian so yeah they're they're the ones taking away our liberties but they're the christians uh, it's just fucking ridiculous one thing happens in a church that you don't like immediately the whole fucking religion's bad I think I have near a thousand videos uploaded and available for people to look at. And I just would like to point out that within that set of videos, there is more than one thing that I don't like about churches and what has happened in them. I think it's safe to say that the number of problems that I have with uh, actions that have had in churches, that happened in churches, um, it's more than one. More than and then one.
Board. Yeah. <laughs> what a fucking bunch of fucktards you people are. I've had it, you know. Just, you. Fuck you. Bye. I, I get that you're you're angry that you've gotten some hate mail. I've actually sent my uh, my subscribers to answer my hate mail uh, a couple times uh, because I get a whole bunch of people that uh, I get angry at, and so I I understand rage quitting. <laughs> uh, I do. I even understand the use of the word fucktard. It just rolls off the tongue. Fucktard, fucktard, fucktard. Everyone's a fucktard. And then, you know, you're, you're driving in the fast lane on, on the argument highway, and then you, you, you try to downshift into your normal life, and, and you have this velocitation where you'll, you'll come through the door at home and, and look at your, your family, and, and just you're, you're still going, fucktard, fucktard, fucktard. And you throw things out that, you know, maybe don't need to be thrown out. I understand it. It happens. Stiggy, I forgive you. You know? <sighs> I wish I had made this video not surrounding myself with all these jokes. <laughs> because I would have had something for the atheists or jokes. <laughs>